guys, today we are going to draw a cute raccoon popping out of a pumpkin. Yeah, it's a folding surprise. When it's folded up, it'll just see you'll see a pumpkin, and then when you open it, there'll be a little raccoon popping out. We hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your marker or something to draw with, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper in half. We'll take the top flap and we're gonna line it up with the bottom edge. And when you get it lined up, crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Yeah. And then we're going to take the top flap and line it up with the top edge, crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Then we can flip over our paper and repeat that same step. We'll take this flap, line it up with the top edge and crease it down. And if you need more time to complete this step, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you can also rewind if you need to watch that again. Okay, this last fold, let's unfold it and flatten it out. This is just a guide fold for when we're drawing. We're gonna flip our paper back over and when we're all done, it should open up like this. Next, we'll put scratch paper underneath our drawing paper. This is just red construction paper because it matches our red table, but you can use any kind of scratch paper. This is just to protect our table when we're drawing with our markers. Now we're ready to draw our pumpkin. We're gonna draw the bottom of our pumpkin first. I'm gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a U shape. We're gonna start at the fold and I'm gonna draw it kind of wide. So we're gonna come down like this, around close to the bottom of the paper and we'll come over to the other side and then back up. See how also the pumpkin's kind of tipped in towards the top. Oh, I love how big you're drawing your pumpkin. Thank you. Then we're gonna extend the top of our pumpkin past the fold and we're gonna come up like this, around, and then connect to the other side. Now let's draw the stem coming out of the top of our pumpkin. We could draw it two curves. One like this, and then the next curve will be a little shorter and smaller. Yeah, and then we can also connect the stem at the top. We can also add a curly vine. I'm gonna draw a little spiral vine that comes out to the side of our pumpkin. And you could add even more details to your pumpkin. You could even add a jack-o'-lantern face, a funny face, but let's leave it just like this. Now we're ready to open up our paper and then flatten it out so it's easier to draw on. Up at the top, let's extend the pumpkin, the top of the pumpkin down past the fold. Yes, on each side. Then we're gonna draw zigzag lines and we wanna make sure that these lines don't go above that fold. So we wanna stay below the fold all the way across and connect to the other side. And we can also make this look more 3D by adding thickness to the zigzag. Let's draw two more, yeah, diagonal lines on each side. And then right here, we're gonna connect it right in to the pumpkin zigzag and then same thing here. And then let's do that again on the next zigzag. We can add two more coming in. And then this time, let's connect it here and then also here on the other side. Cool. Okay, now let's come down here and we'll draw the bottom of our pumpkin coming up past the fold on each side. And before we do the zigzag to connect just like we did up here, let's draw our raccoon's paws curled over the top of the pumpkin. And this is a letter U shape, but we also wanna make sure that this is above that guide fold down here. Yeah, and then let's draw another paw on the other side. And then we can connect the top with another curve to finish the paw shape. And let's also add two little toe lines or finger lines on each side. Now let's draw the zigzag line right here coming down above the fold and then connecting into the paw. And then let's do the same thing in between the paws. I'm gonna draw a letter V. And then we'll do the same thing right here to finish it and connect to the other side. Let's also do the same thing we did up here and make the pumpkin look more 3D by adding two little lines on each side. And then we'll connect it into the zigzag. And then in between the two paws, let's just draw another letter V. 
We finished our pumpkin, now we're ready to draw our raccoon's face. Let's start by drawing the nose, and we're going to draw it right above the center fold right here in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw a letter U, we're going to draw kind of a big nose. <laughs> and then we can draw a line to connect the top, and then let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a little curve coming out to the left, and then also coming out to the right. Now let's color in the nose too. Then we can also draw the chin, and we're going to draw this little shape that comes underneath the mouth and over to the other side. And let's also draw the eyes. We're going to draw really big eyes. I'm going to draw a big circle on the left and a big circle over here on the right. Then we, let's draw a smaller circle inside of each eye. This is for the highlight to make the eyes look shiny, and we can color in that big circle but leave that little circle white inside of the eye. Now we're ready to draw the shape of the head. Let's start by drawing a line that comes out from the chin to the left, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. Then we can add a little zigzag, a small little V. We can do that on both sides too, since it's symmetrical on both sides. Let's draw a bigger sideways V. This is for the furry little cheeks. <laughs> And then let's draw a smaller one just above that one. And we're going to draw the rest of the head coming up. And we're going to stop before we get to the pumpkin. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the ears kind of sticking down since the pumpkin is on top of our little raccoon's head. So we'll draw a big sideways V shape. And then the same thing over here on this side. Try to make these ears look the same size too. And it's okay if they're a little different. Mine are different too. Now let's draw the inside of our raccoon's ear. We're going to draw a curve that kind of matches the top. And then let's draw two little zigzags connecting to the cheek. And then we can also draw the other side of the ear coming down into the cheek. Now let's do that same thing over here on the other side. We'll draw the top first two zigzags connecting in, and then the other side of the ear connecting too. We did it! There's our raccoon. Oh, well, it kind of just looks like a cat. What are we missing? The raccoon mask around the eyes. Oh yeah, the dark mask. Let's draw a shape. We're going to go around the eye like this, and then we're going to come down, and then we can connect into the other side. So a big oval shape. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll come around like this, circle around, and then come back and connect in. Now it'll look even more like a raccoon when we color it. Let's come down here and we're going to draw a little zigzag line coming down to the middle. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to draw a zigzag line over here on this side, coming down to match and connect in the center. This is for the little fur on our raccoon's chest. And then we can draw the arms coming down like this and connecting to the front paw. And we could do the same thing on this side. Then we're going to draw another line for the inside. And then we can draw the body. Let's draw a little more for on the top. So we'll draw a couple zigzags up by the neck. And then we're going to draw the rest of the body coming down into the pumpkin. Now what are we missing? The tail! Yeah, that has to have a tail. A big raccoon tail. We're going to draw a curve that comes out to the side. We can add a small little zigzag for some fur and then come out even further. And then let's draw an S curve that comes down like this. We can stop here and then add another zigzag line and then connect into our raccoon. Taryn, we did it! We finished drawing our raccoons in a pumpkin. It looks really cute, except we're not completely done. Still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it! We
we finished drawing and coloring our pumpkins. They look so cool. I love how they look all colored in. Except let's show our friends what's inside. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three. Happy, happy fall. fall. Oh, I love your raccoons so much. I love yours too. Oh, thanks. And we even added extra things like fall leaves. But you can add anything you want to the inside of the folding surprise. You just want to make sure that you add it below the top fold and above the bottom fold. We used our markers to color with, but you can color with whatever you have at home. Yeah, if you have the same biannual marker set that we have, we used Y505, the orange, for the pumpkin. We used Y107 for the inside of the pumpkin and also the leaves. And we used G406 for the little vine coming out of the pumpkin. And then for the raccoon, we used two grays. And what were those? CG05 and CG07. Yeah, the five is the light gray that we use for most of the raccoon. And then CG07 is the darker gray we use for the mask, the ears, the paws, and also the little rings on the tail. We hope you had fun drawing your raccoon inside of a pumpkin. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take extra time to add more things to the inside of your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.